going to make it. You know, I sit here and said a few weeks ago that I had not had any of the sleep paralysis. And then, not long after that, I had a sleep paralysis. Well, someone told me the other day, and I'm not talking against this person at all, that they had a moment of sleep paralysis. Now, I want you to think about this. There's a woman out here that preaches once saved. And uh, she talked about it. Now, the thing is, I don't think that she ever witnessed it at all. And uh, that it was someone out there that had conversated. Someone out there that had commented on one of her videos. Now, like I said, I'm not talking against this person that said that they had sleep paralysis. Now, what do you think of the reason why this person got it? Why do you think I got it? Why do you think somebody else would get it? Why do you think that God would allow it to happen? You just answer that for yourself. So, if I don't believe in once saved, this other person doesn't believe in once saved, and this other person thought that they had done something wrong. I know I've done something wrong. This other, whoever this other person was that has had supposedly sleep paralysis. Now, do you really think that it, that this message should come from a person that talks about once saved? You know, where all these people sit here and say, you don't have to do nothing to be saved. That if you say you have to do anything to be saved, that you're preaching works-based salvation. I've already sit here and said that I did not believe that repentance was works-based salvation. But again, I say I have said that. And then, you know, roughly a week or so ago, someone brought up a scripture. Well, I, I still don't believe it's works-based salvation because, again, this is something that a person still has to do. And it doesn't make a difference whether it's now. It's It doesn't make a difference whether when you first give your life. To, see, I made a comment the other day. And, I, and, I, and, and I'm hoping that I uploaded that video where I said this. That many people have been saved different ways. Do you really want to know why I said that? If, if I uploaded that video and that was the video that I sit here and uploaded like two videos ago and I sit here and made that comment. Do you want me to tell you the reason why I made that comment of how someone could be different, how how you may get saved different than me? You want me to tell you how, the reason why I made that comment? Okay, I had just recently watched a video of a Muslim woman that had given her life to Christ after God had done things in her life. Because she asked of it from God. And she had read the Bible. There was another woman that asked the same type of thing. So there's two women out here that were Muslims. Now, granted, men are a lot, a lot, lot hard-headed. Men are a lot, lot hard-headed. I can tell you that. Not from my experience, but you can see over time that men have not been able to show love that women have been able to at times. So would you agree? Would you agree that, that women at times can show love more affection than men, correct? And there was a time when it was like that that was a lot worse back in the day than it is now. But I could see how two women could question God. God could show them something. 
they could give their life to Christ and they didn't have to say anything special. If I recall, both women had already read the Bible. So, basically, I don't know what they said for themselves to be saved. I don't know if they said, well, I believe your word. I, you know, I'm going to have to turn from my sins, you know, because I've been doing this. I don't know what people sit here and said, but it's not going to work the same for everyone. I mean, evidently there's going to be, you know, if, if I could get saved one way and you, and you believe the way I got saved. So what I'm just trying to point out is not everybody out here is going to be the same. You know, you could ask, God to come into your life, change your heart, stuff like that, and then you could be saved. You don't have to say, well, I believe the gospel. I mean, you're already reading the Bible. That's why I say, why do you have to say I'm a sinner in need of a savior? You are, if you already believe and you're sitting here asking God to save you, you already know that the Bible is true. You already know that you needed Jesus Christ because he was the one that, the only one that could make the appropriation for your sins or whatever it is, whatever words you use. Uh, but there's no doubt in my mind that there was no one had to say, I have faith. No one had to say, I'm repenting of my sins. You know, you read the Bible, you see how you're supposed to, you see how, how, how God is in the Bible. And evidently there's, could I say I repent of my sins and I have faith and and this and that and be saved? Yes. But does everybody say it that way? Does everybody do these things? So why would God manifest himself to, th to these two Muslim women? And, uh, you know, I, I hope you're understanding what I'm sitting here saying. But again, I don't see no benefit at all. At all. To say I'm a sinner in need of a savior if your intent is not to change. And I don't see how anybody's going to be saved if that is their intent from the beginning. Like I said, I could understand this coming out of the word of people in the church today. Because this is exactly the garbage that people preach out here. Like I said. Well, I'll just tell you, I ran across somebody the other day that brought up past, present, and future sin in one of their videos. And I'm like, that's not that's not something you're supposed to be telling people. It isn't. I mean, where did anybody ever get that out of the Bible? No one ever got that out of the Bible at all. They only got it from man out here. Nobody ever got that out of the Bible. You'll never find past, present, and future sin in the Bible. And you didn't get it out of Christ being an advocate if you sin either. But I'm, I mean, I'm just throwing that out there because, you know, back to what I was originally making this video for, and now I've already forgot. I don't know why. It's just on my, um, again, yeah, I forgot. I mean, it, it's like come and go, come and go. It was right, it, it was right on the top of my, yeah, you're not going to get, I know what it was again, that sleep paralysis. So if sleep paralysis is coming to people that are disobedient and evidently they're doing something wrong, it isn't necessarily that God's allowing this stuff to happen if you're serving him. Believe me, there's all kinds of things that can happen to a person, but the, the, the biggest thing is going to be temptation of sin. You, I mean, even demon possession, even all, all, all this stuff that's happening that a lot of people are, ha that it's happening to, are you sure it's not happening? Because at the end of the day, that if somebody drew closer to God, that these things would go away, but you're not drawing closer to God, believing in falsehoods. You're not at all. So when this girl sit here and said this stuff in a video, I knew it wasn't her. I knew it wasn't her at all. And really, when this girl has talked about a lot of these things, I don't think that she ever had any of these at all herself personally. I think she was referring to witnessing other people out here saying that things are happening to them. And 
I really don't think she ever witnessed any of it at all because if you're going to preach a falsehood, again, think about this. Think about this. I mean, this is, I don't think people can fathom why would God tell me we could lose the Holy Spirit and I had never heard anything about David and I had never heard anything about Saul prior to that. You bank on that. You think about that for a moment. You think how God could tell me we could lose the Holy Spirit. And I'm not trying to bring this up again. I am literally not trying to bring this up again. You think how about a month or two later. And in one person out here that used to watch my videos. I don't know if this person watches my videos anymore. I literally told that person that day that God told me we could lose the Holy Spirit. I told two people that day. Two people that could vouch that the day that God told me this, I told both of these people this. But again, why would sometime later... I run across and I can and I can literally point out exactly how I found how David asked God not to take the Holy Spirit away. And it was all because you know how when it's highlighted in blue or something, you can tap on it and it'll pull up the scripture. That is how I found where David asked God not to take the Holy Spirit away. Now I cannot remember where I ran across Saul, but you can you can either believe that I used to talk about Saul losing the Holy Spirit, or you don't have to. It doesn't make no difference to me. If you think that this is the first time, I mean, heck, if you want to fork out twelve hundred dollars, I'll go take a lie detector test. If you think I just brought this up a couple of days ago because maybe you've been subscribed to me for the last few months or something, you. You want to fork out $1,200? I mean, it'll be a good worthy $1,200 to see I wasn't lying about it. Your choice. Why should I pay? Why should I fork out $1,200? I'm not lying about it. How 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 could David lose the Holy Spirit? And then people, I mean, uh, Saul lose the Holy Spirit. And then when I look up something, something goes, uh, well, uh, it wasn't the same for them back then it is today as far as the Holy Spirit. God gave the Holy Spirit to those in the book of Isaiah. It doesn't make a difference whether you're going to say that the Holy Spirit dwelt in them. It doesn't make a difference what words you're going to use. They were no different than us. Absolutely zero, no different than you and I right now, if you have the Holy Spirit and if I had the Holy Spirit. There was no, it, it, it made no difference that the Holy Spirit worked. Let me ask you, how do you think that David was able to walk the way God wanted him to walk? How about Job? If anybody could find out if Job had the Holy Spirit, I'd be willing to bet that they would be, that, I mean, you would find out that he did. You tell me how these people, could able to do what they were doing if they did not have the Holy Spirit. Now, when I looked it up, I don't know why it said that that one guy lost the Holy Spirit, but I don't think he ever did. Maybe he did. The one that cut his hair, you know, the one that got his hair cut or whatever. The one that built, had, thought he had all his power because he had long hair or whatever. Yeah. It was brought up. I witnessed it. I mean, now whether it's the truth or not, it's beyond me. But there would have been no different in the book of Isaiah when God gave those people the Holy Spirit versus today. The only difference is, is that Christ made it to where anybody could receive the Holy Spirit if they did what he asked. I'm still saying this right now, and everybody can get mad, that the reason why those disciples ran away from Christ Whenever they, and, and I think, I can't remember, I think I saw that the actual scripture number was like 666, 66.6 or something. That when they ran, that when they ran away from him, it was because they were going to have to change their life. I just got done witnessing where a girl was actually talking against the disciples that Christ had a problem with the disciples. You already witnessed it. That Christ had a problem with his own disciples. 
periodically at times. How do you think they would have been if they had the Holy Spirit? Maybe they had it. Maybe they didn't. Excuse me, not it. Okay. Maybe they had the Holy Spirit. Maybe they didn't. Probably not because it doesn't really, I don't think, I'm sure everybody would disagree if I said they did. Uh, but I'm just saying, again, wouldn't that be strange? God tells me we could lose the Holy Spirit. Then I run across David and then I find out about Saul. So what is everybody's excuse out here for that? What is everybody, what would everybody say since, since a lot of people would just say whatever they wanted to? I know I'm acting weird in this video, man. It's just, this is how I am. That's just it. But again, do I think a lot of people can be saved different? I know that's kind of weird, isn't it? Went back to that, huh? I did that deliberately. Um... But I'm pretty darn sure that if you read the Bible and you believed what the Bible said, that you could be saved. Now, let me ask you this. Since this is a crazy video, when it talks about not listening and hardening, hardening your heart, that it talks about in Hebrews 3.7. How are, how, are, how are we listening that we're not hard, that we're hardening our heart? Is it the Bible? What you read in the Bible? So you can get saved, read what the Bible says, and harden your heart because you're, you're ignoring what the Bible says? Or is God telling you something? Or is it conviction after the fact that you got saved? that you're hardening your heart because you're not listening. Now, surely you would be saved when you hardened your heart because why would he be saying? What, what, what would he be saying that, you, that would harden your heart? I mean, could you read the Bible, harden your heart because you're not listening to what it said? What, 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 what would that have anything to do with it? That is kind of strange, isn't it? I figured I'd make a crazy video. This is a crazy video. It's been a crazy day. I see tomorrow being the same thing. It's okay. I mean, I guess after seven years, um, I can take it. I guess I can take it. Just be another day like it was. And I witnessed it yesterday too. Hopefully I don't ever drive through Alabama again, but that's okay. I mean, tomorrow I'll be driving through New York and New, New Jersey. <laughs> you think it's going to be fun tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, Thank goodness when I go through Delaware or wherever those few little states, I'll be driving well, somewhat early in the morning. I'll be leaving here. I'm three and a half hours away. I'll be leaving here at four o'clock in the morning. Eh, you know, I may get caught up with some traffic. Hmm. Eh, you know, it just feel like hell on earth. But hey, you know, it's another day. So again... never lied people and if people want to believe this stuff that the that these websites and all these people say out here believe this stuff you have all the free will i really should have made so many videos and never made another video i mean i i, I really wish god would have never put me in a spot of sitting here saying anything about this stuff i mean this 144,000 thing yeah, you know, I, I wish I'd have known that in 2015. I wish I'd have known that in 2015. This Watchman thing, I really wish I'd have known in 2015 that I'd have backslidden or my life would be hell because I would have said, no, thank you. Get mad all you want, people. I'd have said, no, thank you. As a matter of fact, here's how I'm going to end this video. I wish... I wouldn't sell anything. I'd give it away. Anybody want what I got? If God would give it to someone, they could have it.
Never felt so much of a curse in my entire life, man. All God had to do was warn me about how I would have ended up being after this. And I, I, I'm not saying that I would have not been interested in doing it. But I would have sit here and took precautions. And guess what? Well, I guess reading the Bible, you could have gotten them precautions, couldn't you, Jeff? Well, it is what it is. Another day in rat dump America. Well, <clears throat> I've got some for you. I hope you made it this far into the video. You want to watch some really good videos? All I watched was a few minutes of it. I mean, there have been times I've watched really good videos and I've gotten mad and I've just delete, I've just stopped the whole video and, and never gone back to watch. You want to watch some really good videos? Michaela Cooper. Michaela Cooper made some videos back about a month back. She's got like, go back and watch the earliest one. I mean, the latest early. The one of the very first ones, she's got like, if you go look up Michaela Cooper, her last name starts with a K. She, if you go to videos, you'll see a whole bunch of videos that have the same picture. Go to the oldest one and start right there. Start watching those videos that Michaela Cooper made. Really, 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 really good videos. I mean, I can guarantee you they're all like the first. I mean, I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that the that they're all going to be like the first one. Good. I watched it. It was good. I got mad or whatever. Could not watch no more of it. I don't think people realize how many times I've gotten mad. I've been sitting here watching things and completely stopped the video, not want no more part with it at all. It ain't going to do me no good. Uh, uh, no, no, not tomorrow. Another day tomorrow. I, it's okay. I, I, I see how my months are going to be until it hits the fan. That's okay. Hey. Um, oh, well. Life's a son of a gun. Hey, Jeff, you're not saying a cuss word. Wow. Hey, but God, food for thought. There's somebody out here. Food for thought. There's somebody out there, God. Somebody out there, like I said, it's a freebie. All right, that's enough of this video. Somebody could pray out there.